nearly lost in line, Tel 2000 is one of the smallest aircrafts to take part in Max 2007 air show. Next to the giants of the Russian Air Force, it is hardly intimidated. Freshly made up, it is making its first public appearance. Valery Kamarov bought a Tel 2000 instead of a car. A former pilot, he says, he sees a new face of Russian aviation. More than ever, it's individual, affordable, and popular. It's like a good horse, reliable and fast. I take a flight over my Dutch and my neighbors salute me. This year, private jet owners are taking part, and for Valeri, the best thing about Max 2007 is that there's a place for everyone. Valeri offered me a ride, but rising to the sky takes a bit more red tape than we expected. All flights at Max 2007 need to be approved at the Air Traffic Control Center. And this is where things are hectic. The day before the opening, a team of 20 Russian and English-speaking air traffic controllers coordinate dozens of landings and takeoffs, Russian Swifts, Falcons and Knights. The nation's best aerobatic teams are to challenge French Patrol de France with their death-defying stunts. Keeping an eye on all these pilots, especially as they come from over 40 countries, isn't easy. With over 300 aircrafts taking part and half a million spectators, there's just no room for error. This year's air show is just massive. We have to coordinate the traffic in a concise and organized manner. So far it's been a challenge. And considering the location in the vicinity of Moscow's major airports, highways and residential areas, safety is most important. From up here, coordination and safety take priority. But professionals show off in the skies and all an air show is about. For some a bit closer to Earth, this is the place to sign billion dollar deals. Over 700 international companies have signed up. Illusion is negotiating to sell its new TU-204 to the Iranian government in German Blue Wings Airways. Sukhoi is finalizing a joint venture with Italian Alenia Aeronautica and is expected to launch its much-talked-about fighter jet Su-35. The MiG Corporation is to introduce two of its jets equipped with the latest technology. The Russian government is planning to spend 250 billion U.S. dollars to produce 4,500 aircraft in the next two decades. President Putin is expected to pay a visit to Max 2007, turning it into a politically important event. The U.S. Air Force is here in a goodwill mission and to show off its B-52 bomber. It is too hot at Zhukovsky to feel any Cold War chill, but some old-school pilots like General Karchevsky, a choreographer behind Russia's superjet dogfight to take place during the closing stages of Max, says Russia always needs to be prepared. If we want to avoid wars, we've got to be strong. If we are strong, nobody will dare to attack us. Fighter jet's purpose is for defense, and we need to pass our techniques on to the next generation. And as the last preparations are rounded off, there's a certain buzz in the air, whether it's about the show, business or politics. Anastasia Herlina, Russia Today, Moscow Region.